let's quickly talk about some of the realization that has drastically changed my life for the better the realization we're about to talk about has changed the way i think the way i perceive the world the way i understand the world and this has brought more peace into my life you guys it has brought more freedom i feel so free now and these are the realization that we're about to talk about right now so this realization should be able to change your life that's if you are going to do something about it because what will change your life is not you listening to it okay the awareness that i got that i'm about to share it will not change your life if you listen to it and you don't apply it into your life or you don't think about these things and allow it help expand your world because the more information you get in life the more knowledge you get in life this is meant to help expand your awareness okay and that is what information is supposed to do okay help expand your world help change your perspective towards life help expand your thinking so the first one i have here is having the realization that societal expectations society's norm society rules are just constructs and not universal truth has helped me gain so much freedom in life has helped me gain so much peace in life so understanding that the society that you live in has certain expectations certain rules and regulation and for the fact that they have certain rules and regulation doesn't mean that this is how another society is operating so what is expected of you from this particular society isn't what is expected of you in another society so most of the things you believe in right now some of the things that you understand some of the things that are governing or ruling how you see life some of the things that are shaping how you see life are societal expectations and norms that are just constructs and ideology and these are not universal truths i'm going to be dropping some examples so you understand what i'm saying but realizing that some things that we practice right now was once an idea that was not being practiced and we're practicing it right now because somebody brought the idea and people started to accept it so so many things that you feel like society does not accept it doesn't mean that this is the universal truth it doesn't mean that this is the whole truth this is how it is meant to be this doesn't mean that this is the final say or this is the final truth it means that wherever you are based or wherever you're located this is what is expected and that is not that they are telling you that this is how you should live your life it's just that this is what they expect you to do and you are not going to head meant to be living by the rules and expectation you can only abide to the rules and regulation if you want okay it is not a do or die affair and this particular realization is supposed to help widen your perspective in life it's supposed to help widen your thinking in life now example marriage if you have sat down to think about this thing you see some marriages preach one partner one husband one wife and those people in that particular society agrees to these particular rules and they've been living by it and you see some other places where their society or their culture says a man is entitled to more than one wife and what happens a man can marry more than one wife in that particular location and this again is not universal truth because you say a man is meant to have one wife and a woman is meant to have one husband and yes that's true you say a man is meant to have more than one wife and yeah that is true and in some culture some tradition some society you hear that a woman is meant to have more than one husband and that again is true like i said these things are just constructs and ideology and they are not universal truths and you should be living your life based on the truth that you personally accept and you should not kill yourself over the general expectation and norms okay because they are just idea and construct example again is work in some cities people can work per hour and get paid why in some other places people have to work from some certain time to some certain time without having any work balance 
over here in nigeria you see people going to work by let's say 9 a.m and coming back by 5 p.m because that is what they are meant to do to get a particular salary at the end of the month why you see that in the western world people can go to work and you know get paid for just an hour work two hours work three hours work and again it is what is being accepted in that particular side of the world so you can see that these things are constructs and ideas and it can be different for different people located in different places right because they are constructs and nothing to kill yourself over so this particular realization is supposed to help you know widen your thinking your imagination widen your perception okay gender roles in some culture in some society in some places the same men are the head of the family and that particular place that particular geography accepts that expectation they accept that rule you go to some other places you see where women and men have equality which is something that happens more in the western world you see where they, they preach equality for men a man and a woman and gender roles they are not different between what a man can do and what a woman can do and it is acceptable over there and you see some places here in africa they still follow the idea that a man is the head of the family and you know stuff like that should help you understand that again these things are just ideology and they are not universal truths and food eating some people eat some certain food and some people say they don't eat some certain meats okay you hear people say oh, we don't eat this meat in my culture and you hear these other people say oh we eat this meat in my culture so this one is saying i cannot eat pig this other person is saying i can eat pig and it's not like this person saying that they don't eat pig means that if they eat pig they will die it's just that in their culture in their society this is what is acceptable this is what they have been programmed with and they have been living with it and they've grown up with it and this is what they've come to understand about you know their life and their belief and they're going with it why somebody grew up eating pig from birth and now it is one of his favorite food so these things again are just constructs and ideology and these things are not universal truth okay so these particular um, society norms expectations and rules should help you question yourself and ask yourself why do i follow certain paths and if they are really true to you why do you follow certain rules why do you abide by certain rules why do you allow yourself to be governed by certain rules and if these rules that you're following are true to you because i made a video where i talked about if something is not working for you it is there to control and manipulate you and until you're able to turn it around and make it work for you or leave it and pick up the one that will work for you you always remain slave to that particular ideology so whatever construct isn't working for you whatever ideology isn't working for you and when i mean for you you want to experience life in a certain way you can all you have to do is Pick up the ideology that works for you and drop the one that does not work for you, okay? Because these things are all constructs and not universal truths. Rules and expectation does not apply to everybody. The only people that can abide by certain rules and regulation are people that chose to, okay? It is not a do or die affair. It is up to you to abide to these things. It is up to you to accept these things and live by them, okay? Choice. Now, the next one I have here is labels labels are limiting constructs and in case you're wondering what label all label any label that we have given to anything is a limiting construct and not universal truth it is not the universal label when it comes to labeling that we all have placed on things these things are limiting constructs and i'm going to give you number one okay number one is success what you label as success or what Mr. A knows to be success is not what Mr. B will know to be success. What Mrs. A knows to be success is not what Mrs. B knows to be success. So you see label like success, label like good, what is wrong, what is right, what is normal and what is abnormal. These things are limiting construct, okay? They are just there to limit you. They are just there to put you in a box or in a prison. If you know what a box is, you know that a box is a prison. When you're in a box is when you, you're not allowed to think outside the box you're, you're not allowed to imagine outside the box so that is what label that is what it, it does okay label are just there labels they're just there to limit you not to think outside the box not to imagine outside the box 
you know defining success to be something and expecting every other person to see success as that thing okay that's what society does okay they put label on things and they expect everybody to abide by that particular definition not allowing people to experience what it means to be successful on their own creates meaning for what it means to be success like people can have individual meaning to success and that is what it is meant to be so labels like what is good and what is bad, what is wrong and what is right, what is normal and what is abnormal are just limiting constructs. You can choose to do something that is abnormal and it should be normal to you. And of course, the example I will give you right now quickly before I move to the next one is while I was growing up, I grew up in a religious home. Okay. And a Christian. Okay. And while we were growing up, my mom kept telling us that putting on trousers is wrong. Okay, because men are meant to wear trousers and women are meant to wear skirts, gown, dresses, wrap all those things. But trousers are meant for men. And if you put on trousers, it's a sin. If you put on trousers, yes, trousers, that is how bad it was here in Nigeria. So if you put on trousers, you are living a wrong life like it's against the rules and regulation of our religion and god will punish you or something god we you are just going away from god you are um you are a wayward child if you put on trouser trouser makeup and some certain things and by growing up i believed it too like somehow somehow because i knew nothing else like i did not know anything else than what i have been taught in my religion by my parents by my teachers by everybody that was around me in my community or in my society you know everybody was living by that rules and regulation and we growing up that time we actually we believed it and whenever we see somebody wearing trousers we're like this one don't spoil ah this one mm -mm, oh God. this one don't they go this one is a reward child this one is a devil's child and not until i started understanding what life is and i started realizing that these things are just ideas and constructs then i did not know it as ideas and constructs i just knew it like these things are just they're not true because i started meeting people and i started understanding that in fact the best people that i will meet them were people that even put on trousers because these, these are people that were able to express themselves freely by wearing what they want to wear and living the life they want to live so i started understanding some of these things in life even though i could not put everything together like the way i understand them now but back then i started understanding that oh my god no wearing trousers does not mean you're a bad child it does not mean you're living wrongly it doesn't mean you're doing something bad it's just this thing is just clothes outfits that people are meant to wear to cover up their body and even the makeup and all these extra things do you get i started removing the limiting belief on it and that is what like i said labels are just limiting beliefs they're just limiting constructs beliefs construct all those things are the same ideology so i just realized that ah these things are just limiting beliefs and it doesn't matter what you wear okay what matters is who you are i remember doing this very well my friends we we'll go out to we'll put on trousers and you know go for outing and hanging out with friends and when we're coming back we we'll change to skirts and while we started doing this it got to a point where we could not hide this anymore me and my siblings we started doing it and gradually my mom that told us that it's a sin I started understanding that it was not a sin and she started, she started allowing it the society that we lived in that did not accept it before gradually started accepting it because at that point that is when television started becoming more popular so people could watch tv and see all these things that okay the westerners were doing the asians were doing you know they started seeing that the world was actually bigger than what they, were, they have been taught imagine we did not get tv radio or, or these other things that helped us understand that the world was bigger we would have been boxed you know to thinking in a particular way and those things are limiting beliefs. So this is like my quick example telling you that most of these things that you are abiding by, most of these um, levels that you've given things, achievements, you've labeled achievements to be you buying a car, you've labeled achievements to be somebody buying a house. And when somebody buys a house, every other person feels like, okay, this person has achieved something, which is now this person is successful. These things are limiting beliefs, okay? Somebody can decide to you know further the education and finish the education and do it well and they'll be successful in it and that is success process can be different things different definition you not being able to confidently talk to somebody or talk to crowd and now your confidence to talk to crowd your confidence to have conversation and carry a conversation that is success so success can be defined in so many ways um good bad wrong 
normal abnormal all these other extra things can be defined in so many ways depending on the one that you agree to be your definition realizing that label does not have to apply to you realizing that the, the labels that people are giving things or let's say society is giving things or putting on things putting on work putting on every other aspect of your life it's not the most that it must apply to you okay that level must not apply to you. you can create your own level just realizing that can become more free to oneself you can become automatically free when you start creating your own definition to this label okay the third one for me is attachment to ideology can limit your freedom attachment to the construct and ideology that have been created that attachment you have to it can limit your own freedom and you don't know this once you attach yourself to a specific ideology or belief system it automatically becomes your mentor prison once you subscribe to a certain way of thinking and you have this attachment to it you don't want to let it go that particular thought or that particular belief or that particular emotional conviction or what, whatever it is automatically becomes your mentor reason we're not meant to get attached to ideologies and constructs i don't know why people are not taking their time to make research on these things like what is an ideology what is a construct these things were things that we are once not practiced if we go back five six seven generations back 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 and realize what they were practicing back then you understand that the more we evolve, the more we learn, the more we get information and the more we use this information, we become better, we grow into better. Once we are growing, once we are accepting more and you know allowing our mind to expand, we are able to create a world where everybody can be involved in it. Everybody live the life that they want to live freely, enjoying this particular universe. So attachment to ideology is what is making you feel like you're living in a prison you're living in this particular world where other people are enjoying their experiences you're feeling like you're in a prison you're feeling like you're in a hell hole it is because you have an attachment to some certain ideology and constructs and all you need to do for yourself is to let go let go one particular ideology is again marriage so certain people get to a certain age let me talk about the women they get to a certain age middle 20s early 20s sometimes and they start feeling this aspiration to get married because the construct in this particular universe is that at some certain age a woman is meant to get married and people have accepted this so much that they feel like this is the norm this is the this is it like it is do or die and they get to this age and they start becoming very desperate they start becoming very you know depressed because they don't have it they start trying all they can do to gain this thing to have this thing even though this thing this particular ideology is not real it's just a construct you see people kill themselves over these things and because of the attachment that people have towards some of this ideology that is how you see people every year that okay so i'm back i have switched my mic I was talking about how easy it is for people to kill themselves over this trend. You know why? Because of how easy it is for society to accept ideologies, like different ideologies. Now, people now accept this luxury temporary item. Luxury temporary items to be how to actually know somebody's worth and value, which is also a construct. It is not real. But because people now accepted that okay from having things people will value you and you see girls boys doing certain things to have these things like putting their hand in so many illegal stuff i'm not here to judge but i'm just saying that this is why people kill themselves over trend this is why people get depressed commit suicide over these things because of how it is easy for society to accept this ideology and construct these things are not real they're just the attachments that we now have towards certain ideology so 
for you to free yourself from you know having attachment to ideology you need to understand that all the constructs that we're living by in this life in this reality are tools they are temporary tools they're not permanent they're just temporary tools that if you see it as tools you can be able to use it for your own good and not allow it to use you or control you you can be able to change it because they are tools you can be able to change your tools right that is what tools are once a tool is bad and tool, the tool is not working for you what do you do you throw it away and buy a new one so once you start seeing these ideologies and construct this expectation these things as just temporary tools temporary tools i'm an evil girl forgive my accent <laughs> I don't know why they are so worse today, like they are bad, but just forgive it. Try and follow what I'm saying, okay? Once you start to see these things as, as tools and not permanent tools, just something that you can change whenever it is not working for you, then you can become free. Then you can start having more like freedom in your life, more peace, more like expanding your perception. Because these ideologies will no longer control you, this construct will no longer box you. Rather, once something isn't working, once you're in a certain box and it is not working for you, you leave the box and either go create another box or just stand in the wild and just live your life. Okay? So yeah, see them as temporary truths and not unchangeable truths because they are not universal truths. And this will expand your freedom and adaptability. No matter where you go to, you'll be able to adapt to whatever it is that they are doing in that community. Or if you don't want to adapt, you say, fuck it live by your own rules and that is it that is just what it is meant to be okay don't get attached to this belief system do not get attached to this construct okay um that is the third one the fourth one i have here is that meaning is created and not inherited the meaning you give to life can only be created you cannot experience your father's meanings to life your father meaning to life your father has lived life and now he has different meanings to different things that has happened to him and that is what he believes in now because he lived through it and you are here now through your father it does not mean that whatever it is that he has experienced should define what you experience in life okay you have to create meanings to your own experiences you have to create meanings to whatever it is you want to create meaning for you don't inherit meaning you create it okay you experience it you create it everything that we assign meaning to everything every single thing that you are assigning meaning to should be created in your relationship whatever meaning you're giving to it shouldn't be the meaning that your parents told you it shouldn't be the meaning that the society is telling you that oh this is what your relationship should be like okay this is what your relationship should portray don't do that to yourself in relationship create your meaning in your achievements do not say oh i have to achieve this because society say if you don't achieve this you're not man enough or you're not human enough you're not the perfect woman you're not the ideal woman you know if you don't have this you have not achieved anything if you go by that rule trust me society will lose you because you can say that in today's or in this modern world people see enhancing their body as achievement and as i talk to you today it is gradually going this ideology is already going because at one point in our life in this 21st century enhancing body was an ideology that proved achievements bleaching the skin was something that proved somebody's worth and somebody's value so you see people doing this thing because people will you know recognize you more or you know respect you more when you look a certain way when you have a certain complexion please assign meanings to things okay achievements in life assign your own meaning to it do not accept the general definition to achievements your work what you should be doing for work and how you should get your money should not be defined by the society okay they should not tell you that the only way that you can make money in life or the only way that you can be sure of your future is when you go to nine to five that is a lie there are places that people just work for one hour there are places that people work for three hours there are places that people don't even work at all and they still have the same so please assign meaning to whatever it is you're experiencing and please do not inherit meaning okay because if you're following what society is saying again you are gonna get lost now also values 
what people place values on you should assign your own meaning to these things and do not follow general meaning or definition because if you notice today what people are placing their value on are things that don't hold value things that are temporary which are material things that is what people are placing their value on a lot of people right now are living their life placing value on material things things that are external that is what they see true value in and that is the meaning that they have given to these things now they have said okay if you have the certain car you're rich you're wealthy if you have the certain um outfit in your wardrobe or this certain designer names in your wardrobe you're you know you're this you're that if you use a certain phone you're this you're that if you walk at this certain place you're this you're that because these are the meaning that they have assigned to these things it is not the general meaning it is not the universal truth these are the meaning that they they have assigned to these things and you can assign your own meaning to these things you can look at somebody that have a car and say you are not wealthy because you just possess physical stuff and you have assigned your meaning to that person you have assigned your meaning to whatever that person is experiencing now you're no longer putting your value on okay he has this car so he's rich no you're putting your value on probably the person's intellect or i don't know if you get so there are certain way you can assign meaning to different things okay but you should assign the meaning you should create your meaning and do not inherit meaning because you don't inherit meaning you create it this particular understanding can empower you to consciously decide what deserve your energy you cannot choose okay now that i know what my true values are now that i know what my true definition of an achievement is what do i want to do in life you know what do i want to focus on what do i want to pour my energy on you no longer want to pour your energy on something that doesn't worth your time something that does not bring true value to you because now you have your own definition to what values are what you, you should be putting your values on you're going to work consciously towards that you know following exactly what you have created for yourself and not working towards anybody's calendar or rushly working towards societal's you know expectations or societal's value because again societal value are lost they are trends that keep coming and going they are temporary temporary <laughs> and in the next generation what is actually holding value right now will not hold value in the next generation and lastly for this one i'm going to take my time to talk about it money and material values are an assigned upon illusion money and material values are assigned and agreed upon illusion and this should be common knowledge when we started we were not using money we we're not using this paper that we're using right now how people pay each other for their services is by exchanging their goods so um i want a carpenter and i'm a fashion designer I'll make outfit for the capital the capital will make what i want for myself for, like for me and we'll exchange it that is how they were doing the payment and reward before that is how people were exchanging goods and services so before it was not money it was not this paper it was not the money that we we're using now it's it's it, it actually graduated into what it is right now to tell you that all these things are construct and ideology and in the next 10 to 15 years we might not be using the paper money anymore because already everything is going online everything is becoming internet wise everything is going i don't know how to explain it but you should know what i'm saying everything crypto forex everything is going into online coin to tell you that these are ideologies they are illusions they were idea that was once not practiced at the time when people were exchanging their goods and services as i do something you do something and we exchange and they don't pay each other if you tell them that let's create paper where we exchange this paper as money they'll be like are you insane what's what's this one talking about like what we're doing then worked for them and they graduated into using calories right that was what people were using for payment and then we moved to coin and now we own paper ideas 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 construct that was once an illusion that was once not practiced and that was brought to life by someone or a group of people and now people are practicing it so this are not do or die affair because again in the next 10 
15 20 years whatever it is you're killing yourself over whatever it is you're killing yourself over right now wouldn't be enshrined so you see material things you see what you call luxury you see money these things are agreed upon illusion we agree we're all agreeing to it that is why it is actually holding value that money has value right now and people are working towards getting money working their ass over just to get money is because we agreed for these things to be happening we are all agreeing on this rubbish i'm going to call it rubbish we are all the ones agreeing and we're all the ones giving it power giving it what it is right now putting the value on it right now because see if humans disappear from this world everybody each and every one of us leave this particular planet and we say okay we're living the money that we are talking about right now the money that we're killing ourselves over that you cannot sleep over that you have been thinking about will become what what less say it after me what 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 less because there's nobody to exchange it with or there's nobody to use it there's nobody to do what put value on it who is putting value on it right now me and you material things the names that oh gucci Val balenciaga Versace, fendi dior the names that you know people are killing themselves over oh i want to wear this i want to wear dior, dior or nothing you know the names of the things that people are trying to acquire ferrari bugatti lamborghini you know oh if i don't build this um how many story mansion i'm not this one all these things are illusions that me and you are agreeing upon okay they are not real they are ideologies and if today we all say i don't want to patronize um gucci anymore i don't want to patronize Versace or balenciaga dior any of those i don't know let's not put value on lamborghini anymore it will become worthless let's not put um values on designer names anymore it will automatically become what what less let's not put value on any of these things even the app that we use these days you know people are saying instagram is this one people are saying tiktok is this youtube is this we are the one putting values on these things okay and if we choose not to use any of these things today we choose okay this is not it anymore it becomes what worthless and i can give you so many examples i've given you example of money how money graduated into what it is right now what else would i use what else should i call that will make you understand that these things are just illusions and ideology that were once not practiced or used and the fact that we're killing ourselves over these things right now is because we have agreed upon this illusion and we're following it we're making the choice to follow it money holds value because we collectively believe in it this awareness can help us see material pursuits as tools and not the essence to life. So you're not here to make money. Stop thinking that that's the only reason you're here. You're not just here to make money. That is not the only essence to life. That is not the only reason you are here. Okay. That is the least reason you are here. Okay. You're here for a bigger purpose and do not ever define or limit your life to just making money because again, these are agreed upon illusion and this is not the universal truth now how do you become free from these realizations like how do you become free from these things that i've said detached detach no ed detach is a process detach from every single one of these things i did it i am still doing it I went on a journey where I started detaching from distance. I started detaching myself, especially for materialistic things. And then I moved to humans, like human being. I moved to humans. I moved to, like I started detaching from the things that were not working for me. Whatever it is that was trying to control me or manipulate me or place me in a point or state where I'm always drained. I'm always losing energy because of this thing. I detach from it. At this point, I'm sitting... I make sure that money do not control my time money do not control any of the things that i'm doing i do them from a place of passion and a place of you know i just enjoy doing it i make sure that whenever i am doing anything i do not put money in front of it because the key it is not the essence to why i am here it's not the only reason why i am here okay i'm here for other things and money is just probably part of it because it is something that is required in this particular time because i cannot say it is required in this particular world 
of this planet because at one point it was not required so in this particular time that i am existing it is required for survival and i have to make it to, to i have to make the money to survive but then it is not my purpose in life okay so i tried detaching from this thing i've tried detaching from a lot of things and i'm still on the journey of detaching so for you to become free you need to detach from all the things that i have mentioned society rules and regulation and expectation detach from it detach from labels because they are limiting you detach from ideologies Okay, that your attachment you have to ideologies, detach from it, create your meaning in life, and also detach from money and material things. Okay, detach from it, and this is the way that you can free yourself. I can make a video, a little video on detachment, but this is what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to have a conversation where we talk about some of the realization that has helped drastically change my life. And I mentioned the things that I this change has brought into my life my thinking has been expanded like every moment every waking day for me is a day to learn and to have more awareness so like my world is unlimiting itself i'm seeing more possibility in life my perception in life is broadening and this is because of the realization that i just mentioned so take your time to go through these things and ask yourself why do i have so many attachments to these things why do i understand these things the way i understood it and how can these things help me you know widen my imagination broaden my imagination how can this thing help you know, change the way i see life so i can see life in how i want to see life so i can now get my desired reality because if you want to become a certain person in this life you want to create a certain image or you want to have like this certain fulfillment in life you want to feel a certain fulfillment in life you need to go through these things that i've mentioned okay so that you can detach from it properly and become free and fulfilled even without doing anything even without working externally just feeling fulfilled internally from just understanding your relationship with these things that i've mentioned okay okay so yeah that's the conversation for today I hope this video is interesting to somebody. Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment section so I can talk about it. Because, yeah, that's what I do. So let me know in the comment section whatever you want to talk about. Or you have a question. And I'll be there to answer. Thank you for watching to the end. Um, bye.